Hey everybody, welcome back to Faraday Research, and it is Tuesday night, and I'm doing some experimentation with my uh, Don, uh, Ger uh, Gerard Morin generator. So I'm powering the whole system with my power supply. I got it set at 18 volts, and it goes into my uh, motor controller, which powers the DC motor, which goes to my pump, and then from the pump it goes to this capacitor here, which is AC power. Then I go and I built myself a, a full wave bridge rectifier and I've got that hooked up and then from the full wave bridge rectifier it goes to my capacitor bank and then from the capacitor bank it goes to this 300 watt uh, Biztec uh, inverter and then I run this light as a load. So anyways uh, it's presently got 11.57 volts that's in the capacitor right now so uh yeah anyways uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so at the bottom right hand corner and also in the patrons all my links for my uh, donating and my patreon and uh, crypto uh, bernie's channel i do uh, shows with him quite often so basically i wanted to see how this would perform with a very limited capacitor bank it's only 500 ferret at 12 volts and I got it hooked up to a 300 watt inverter now the loads not very much it's only maybe about 10 watts of a load so I ran the test it charges the capacitor bank uh, quite well but it can't hold the load so probably what I'm gonna do in the next day or so I have a, a charge controller that I'll hook up to my lithium iron phosphate battery remove the cap, hook up the battery to the inverter, and then hook up the um, Gerard Morin generator to the solar charge controller that's made for lithium iron phosphate batteries. And then from there, I would charge that battery because that battery has a lot more capacitance than this capacitor bank, and it just doesn't sustain a load. So I'll show you how well it charges without the load on. So it's at 11.5 volts right now. I'm gonna turn it on. We've got it set at 18 volts, about three quarters, and she's gonna start charging here. So I'm at climbing. It kind of fluctuates, goes up and down, but it is climbing. 11.8 volts. Now, I don't have this cranked out all the way, so it's about three quarters of the way. 11.9 volts. Now, when I turn the inverter on, it's going to start dropping. It just can't sustain the entire load. Okay, so I got it at 12 volts now. I'll turn on the inverter. All right, and I got the light going now. Now, you'll see it start to drop. Not fast, but it's dropping. So that means that this capacitor bank just doesn't have the capacitance I need to sustain a load. Now, if I got a lot more, um, um, a better um, capacitance, like the battery, uh, this thing should, in theory, charge. So, it's staying around 11.8, it's holding it, but it's, it's still going down. And it's sustaining the light, it's fully lit. And that's a 300 watt inverter. So basically, it goes from Gerard Morin, goes to the capacitor, goes to the full weight bridge rectifier, becomes DC, goes to the capacitor bank, charges the capacitor bank, and then from there with the alligator clips connects to my 300 watt inverter, and from the inverter goes to the uh, light. So it is going down. It's not holding it, but it's not going down fast. It's taken a, it's a steady decline, but it's still performing pretty good considering, you know, this cap bank really just, you know, is not enough. So since I go to the lithium iron phosphate battery, really I, I'm dealing with a lot more capacitance and it'll be a lot easier to recover a battery than I would a cap bank because, you know, 500 ferrets, nothing, right? So, but it is performing pretty good. It's, you know, it's at 11.3 volts. It's on a steady decline, 
but I have to see what the performance is. It's all part of my testing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the cap bank, hook this directly up to the sol uh, charge controller, and then from the charge controller goes to the battery, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, and from the lithium iron phosphate battery, it's gonna go to the uh, inverter. Now you can also do it like this, have two batteries while you're charging one, one's running the load. And then when they have to be swapped, you swap the batteries out, boom, the other one's getting charged while the other one's, uh, right. So that's basically what I would do. And now this power source here that's running the whole show, this would be hooked up to the inverter. So whenever the inverter's got a fresh battery, it can run this system. So you got a fully looped, fully looped system. See, this whole time, and we've just gone down one volt. So it's kind of holding it. It's, it's on a steady decline, but it's actually holding a charge for a bit. It's actually fighting it. So, yeah, obviously, you know, things will have to be changed and uh, experimented with. But, yeah, it's actually holding it. I'm going to crank it up a bit, see if I can get those volts up. Go a little faster here. So it's actually starting to climb a bit now. So if I keep it kind of cranked out, you know, I got it at 18 volts. It's, it's drawing quite a bit of amps though. It's 1.6 amps. So definitely I'll have to work on this part of the system too. It's not the see all and you know, end all kind of thing, but you know, I'm sustaining it. I'm sustaining it right now as it stands. It's going down just very little, very slow. But anyways, yeah, any questions or comments, leave it below. Obviously, you know, I'm going to try different configurations to see what how this thing performs the best. And uh, yeah, so here, I'll shut the inverter off and we'll let it charge up again. So as soon as I take off the inverter, this thing just starts charging up pretty good. So I get it up to a pretty good speed. It's running a lot better. It's still vibrating a bit, but not nearly as bad as it was in my last video. So, yeah. It, it fluctuates this power. It's weird. But it is climbing. Yeah, it's going 30, then it drops, and then it goes up again, and drops. It's weird. But yeah, I figure if I get the charge controller hooked up from the bridge rectifier and then from there goes to the battery and then the battery will run the inverter and then I can run the load. And then I would get the power cord for my power supply, hook it up to the inverter. So I'll be completely looped. So I think that's the next thing I'll do. I'll probably work on that tomorrow because I have to uh, make the hookup wires for the uh, inver uh, for the charge controller. As soon as I get that done, then I'll hook up the lithium iron phosphate battery. And that'll be kind of the true test. So yeah, it's uh, it's climbing. It's uh, 11.78. As soon as I get to over 12, then I can turn the light on again. But it's not like the the. Um, capacitor bank is just like draining like real fast it's a, it's a steady decline very slow but I'm able to actually keep up with it with the system but I have to crank it out to do it so so I got the light on here again and just give you a kind of a, a roundabout look here so I got this running the light it's not big load I think it's only about 510 watts maybe I have to actually check the parameters of it uh, that is my inverter. Try to focus on it. I don't know if you can see that great. But yeah, it's, it's working. It's functional. It's uh, running through. This is a 300 watt. So yeah, I got some platform to actually work with now. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, so leave your comments, questions below. Let me know what you think. And I'll be doing the test tomorrow with the battery and the uh, charge controller. 
and see if I can actually charge that battery while I'm running the load, while the battery is actually gonna be running the system. That'll be the real test, if I'm actually able to loop the system and actually be able to sustain the charge or even charge the battery while this is running. So that'll be the like the real test because I'm running 18 volts, it's pulling 1.6 amps. So that'll be a good test. If I, if I could loop it and charge that battery, that means I got a self-sustaining system that would never run out of power. If I'm able to constantly charge that battery and keep it full, this thing will run forever. So then from there, I know my parameters to work with and then, then I can scale it up, make it bigger and more powerful, right? So yeah, so it's a start and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. So anyways, subscribe bottom right corner. Questions, comments below. Don't forget to uh, so help me out. Subscribe to my Patreon. Become a pa uh, Patreon member. I also got PayPal. Donate there if you want to donate directly through PayPal. I got that. I also got Bitcoin. I also got Bernie's link in the description. When we do our shows, you can log in and uh, listen to our shows. They're actually quite entertaining. And uh, yeah, we'll see everybody soon. Cheers.